Utah Search Dogs, a nonprofit that joins together handlers and their dogs to help with search and rescue all over the state, is bringing on a new team. Uh, we love to introduce you to this new team. New specialist Kara Brackett joins us. Uh, Kara, you got to meet the team members. Uh, we're learning about this training today as well. It's already started between the two. Yeah, I got to meet this dog and their handler, who you'll see on the screen behind me here, who is all puppy right now, but is putting in work with trainings every single weekend, working on skills throughout the week to one day help provide closure and save lives. Look at those ears. His ears just have stood up in the past like two days. Just in time for Driggs, the German Shepherd, and his new favorite human slash handler, Casey Kuhn. Good boy, good boy. To train together as the newest team with Utah Search Dogs, a Utah nonprofit that trains and equips search dog teams to help federal, state, and local authorities in emergency search and rescue situations. I fell in love with it immediately. It's her way to give back, following two near-death experiences in her lifetime, including a car wreck where doctors initially said her chances of living were slim. And if she did live, she'd probably lose an arm. Both times, strangers came to her rescue. I haven't looked back. Rather, she's looking down at Driggs, who these days is more often than not caught pairing his new set of pointy ears with his sniffer to sniff out a lot of sticks and shoes. That's my shoe. Thank you. Thank you. Before you know it, though, ten and a half week old Driggs will be running with the big dogs like Mozzie. Show me. Logging hours of training, in addition to wilderness search, avalanche, missing persons, and runaways. We work very closely with uh, various counties. Uh, we provide uh, dogs to, to do all sorts of tasks, uh, some of them like tracking, trailing, area search, uh, human remains detection, disaster search. I work with my dog about 15 minutes at least every day, and then on the weekends, two to three hours. In the meantime, Driggs will be sitting like the good boy he is watching and learning what big paws he'll get to fill. Oh boy. I think that we'll start off with the tracking um, and then go from there. I'm really interested in doing avalanche as well. We'll take it one step at a time. <laughs> And I asked about how long it'll be until he starts hitting the ground with the team on a search and rescue. They tell me while it's different for every dog, it'll take at least a year. So that's all we got. I mean, <laughs> critical team members, too. They're cute. This we know. But those uh, working dogs learn so much that can, you know, save lives. <laughs> it's this. It's the, the ears. ears. Oh, so cute. Point the way. Love it.